Who's that? I know. So I've always had cats, so this feels like my life is back to normal. Hey, darling. Instead of just one kitty, now I've got two kitties. It seems like they get along really well. They do. They're pretty much joined at the hip. They play in unison together, roam from room to room together. There's not much they don't do together. They sleep curled up together wherever they are. Oh, they're perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Yeah. Perfectly normal. Yeah. They just don't know how special they are. They act like any other kitten. Stewart says she looked at adopting, but she says she fell in love with the original cat Bear's personality. Personality in one seems to be identical to Bear. The other one is just a little more cuddlier than Bear was. The kittens are now three months old and they're starting to show signs of the same interest in being outside that the original cat had, which led to Bear's untimely end. Uh, but Chris says that she is adding an indoor outdoor space for these cats. She also has leashes and harnesses uh, complete with chips that will track their movements for when they're ready to take the next step. Uh, I'm waiting for them to grow big enough to fit securely into their um, escape-proof harnesses so that I can take them outdoors on a leash right. and take them out on my kayak and on hikes. Stewart says she started this process two years ago and it can cost up to $32,000 US, a cost and a process she doesn't regret. This is a perfect fit for me and where my interests are. I love animals. I missed bear. This to me was an opportunity to see science in action and to bring back at least memories of bear. So to people that have cherished pets, I would say, you know, you can get cell collection done. It's painless. To me, there's no ethical issues with cloning. Fun fact, Chris Stewart says she found the original bear on the Castanet Classifieds. She's now had the two kittens checked by her local vet, and they're doing fine. Thank you very much. Plus, she's also achieved worldwide attention with a French TV network following her around and an HBO documentary in the works. Now, the toughest challenge for Chris is going to be telling her two new kittens apart. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.